Well, I think the most serious myth is a fundamental one. Uh, the widespread belief that the Underground Railroad was so secret that we can't know how it worked. We can't know how, how when, or where it was founded. Uh, therefore, anything might be true about it. And that basic assumption uh, creates a fertile field for the growth of a lot of, dare I say, subsidiary myths, like the pervasiveness of tunnels, of which there were virtually none, perhaps none at all, or the more contemporary um, uh, myth that fugitive slaves followed uh, maps, uh, coded, coded maps sewn into quilts. Uh, there is no documentary evidence for either of these things, although they're very, very popular stories. But the basic myth, as I said, is the assumption it was so secret you can't know how it worked, which is completely fallacious. There's a huge abundance of information on how the Underground Railroad functioned. There is wonderful archival material. The surface of this has only been scratched. There's uh, room for much more research. And it's a wonderful field for local research because the Underground Railroad was largely very localized, decentralized in a rural America of the antebellum period. And much of the best material, I'm convinced, is still out in relatively small sound towns or cities around the country. Um, so if there's an abundance of material, why do we think there isn't? Um, the explanation for that is what happened after the Civil War. Uh, I should say that the Underground Railroad was largely organized, led, partly financed by African Americans. It was a biracial movement. Uh, and in the Jim Crow America that came into existence after the Civil War, especially after the abandonment of the national commitment to the rights of freedmen during the, Re uh, the Reconstruction period in the 1870s, when African Americans, including their heroic uh, contribution to the war effort during the Civil War, the hundreds of thousands of black troops who fought in the war, was essentially written out of the story in the racist Jim Crow America uh, that took shape from the 1870s on and lasted well into the 20th century. Americans really didn't want to know about a biracial movement. Uh, they went back to a, an antebellum racist idea of who black people were and of, a, uh, uh, of their incapacity to be full citizens, uh, uh, even though a generation of brilliant black leaders had shown before the Civil War that, uh, that it, uh, it was capable of uh, organizing and running a, a very complex movement. Um, so the memory of how the Underground Railroad worked was, I think, largely forgotten, or you could say in some places even deliberately suppressed. And instead, we inherited a, a, a sort of gilded fantasy of kindly white folks helping incompetent, terrified, uh, helpless, uh, uh, black runaways, a uh, very pleasant story that flattered white participants but ignored black participants in the underground. Uh, and also um, by pretending that it was so secret we couldn't know how it worked, uh, it made it a lot easier for Americans to forget the pleasant presence of African Americans.